introduce uh, Joel Smith and Dean Lundberg from Accelerant. Uh, we really appreciate them being here with us today. Um, Accelerant's mission is to create local jobs and train rural residents for the specific skill sets urban employers need in tech, information, sales, marketing, and professional service sectors. And, uh, Thank you, Dean, for being here. Uh, I met these guys last year at the legislature, and they gave uh, a presentation, and what they're doing is really exciting, and we're glad they're here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you've been sitting since 7.30, right? Stand up. Let's get active for a second. Stand up. I want you to help me uh, send a message, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm going to have him hand this, so you'll be able to hear my voice because it carries, is I'm going to say some words and I want you to clap with me. Okay, are you ready? Raising Cain. Together is better. We are Utah. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> you want us to be safe over here? Yeah, it's okay. We're good. All right, who we are, what we do, and what we need has been a mantra in my public speaking that I've done for the last four or five years. The networking group often kind of gets stuck just handing out business cards and then kind of stacks of business cards that you don't do anything with. But everybody needs to learn an elevator pitch. So, who I am? My name is Joel K. Smith. I have one degree with Kevin Bacon, but this was going to my hometown of Lehigh in the small world community. What I do is try to talk all of you into joining me and Dean and all of you who work with in creating rural jobs for urban communities that don't have enough employees. What I need, your cooperation. Dean. I'm two degrees in Kevin Bacon because I'm in Joel. Now, we're very excited to be here. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about our business and what we're doing and, and what we think we can bring to King County. Um, I actually have a background, uh, actually, I'm afraid, uh, buried a little bit from the back when we used to be Express Web uh, Internet. I've been in the internet business for a long time. So, both Joe and I have really developed what is a passion for rural communities in Utah and really beyond. Um, in my ventures in broadband, I, I serviced a lot of rural communities throughout Utah. I got to know a lot of, a lot of communities. Um, I've probably been to more small communities than most. Uh, throughout Utah. So it's, it's been exciting to get to know everybody and, and see everybody. One of, my, one of my most favorite things is to go find the best diner on Main Street and go have dinner and get to know some of the local people. You can tell the very places that we park there and have dinner and that's where you go and have a great meal. Um, but as I went through my adventures in rural Utah, um, I noticed something. So I would go to restaurants or the sandwich shop and invariably it was the 40, 50 year old mother was doing the service thing, making the sandwich. And I guess in my growing up, I thought those were, those were jobs for high school kids and college kids. Uh, and so there's a, we, we discovered an opportunity. There's, a, there's an issue with underemployment. Um, these are very bright people, very good and educated with college degrees, uh, just lacking opportunity. So in Joel and I, both of our experiences, we realized rural. Rural Utah in particular has a lot of potential. There are a lot of people with a lot of skills that we can leverage for great things. How can we leverage those skills? Go on, because I'll probably speak too much later on. <laughs> so what we what we decided is, we can go and go, is uh, what we're doing is we're actually bringing together the urban communities with our rural communities, making that tie between those two communities. Our urban communities have a very low unemployment rate. Right now in Utah County, for example, I think it's down to 2.4%, in Salt Lake County, it's like 2.8%. These communities are struggling to find good workforce. Now, by contrast, we look at our rural communities, and we have much higher unemployment. Um, if we look at some of our energy counties, for example, Carbon County is about 6.8%, UNC County is about 8.8%. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of people who need opportunity. You may have similar challenges here. You have a tourism season. What happens in the tourism season fails off. It becomes a hardship for a little bit of that from 
our friends at Holiday Inn Express. So what we want to do is bring these jobs that are not being filled along the WASAP front to our rural community so they can be filled and filled by great people. Have you guys ever felt like you're treated like you're an offshore country where the wages that you're paid is like you're in the Philippines or maybe um, Malaysia or India? Why should you have any expectation to be paid anything different than the folks on the WASAP front? Can anybody give me an argument for that? So. so here's the beautiful thing about this slide and what we found in the crew. We're finding better talent at the same wages that are paid on the Wasatch Front in rural communities. Better talent. Amazing talent. So why should we come into your community and just because you have a lower cost of living or a lower real estate cost or something like that? Discount you as an individual. It's our intent make sure that we can establish that a fair wage is paid at a normal level is not fair to you. As one Joel said, we've been improving that. Um, and, and we'll show you an example of that on the next slide if you want. So our mantra really is people, places, platform. Great people is the primary purpose that we're here. Um, we, want to, we want to take the great people of your community and put them to work. There's a lot of talent there and we, and we need your help. Our places are these rural communities. We come into a rural community where we go what we call an opportunity hub. Uh, the reason we do that is we set it up and we get it running uh, and, and put workstations in place, make sure the broadband is in place, and it really is kind of the situation if you build a day will come. Uh, and so what we're looking to do is put together one of these opportunity hubs in your community. Uh, and so that we can attract companies to come here and employ the people in this community. Part of that is a platform. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to ask all of you to take out your mobile devices and get to the URL, which is eagleplacesplatform.com. Because I'm going to expect all of you to take 30 minutes to help your community be represented to the Wasatch Front and other urban areas. With eagleplacesplatform.com, it will take you to one of our technology partners called JourneyFront, which provides you the ability to be able to indicate what exists in the community. You can get more into that um, a little bit later on. We also have some partners that allow us to do a program that we started working on last year with UEM. And we had actually assistance from a whole bunch of different uh, people with uh, the National Science Foundation, which is called Virtual Vision. The intent of Virtual Vision is to be able to utilize technology to be able to allow for communications between the urban core and the rural communities. Do you guys realize you have better fiber optics here than downtown Salt Lake City? It's taken two to three years to be able to trench and bring in everything that's necessary for Google Fiber. But you guys have it everywhere. There's other rural communities like Anti, they've got 100% fiber to the home. You guys kill us when it comes to that technology. So taking advantage of that, all we've got to do is open the windows between here and the urban communities and have them buy up. You know what? You guys are going to help us do that. So the whole key is leveraging the talent that is here, but part of it is keeping the talent here. So probably one of your number one exports as you look around is your children. They're going other places for their careers. Uh, maybe they're not passionate about traveling further. Maybe they want to get into technology. So what do they do? They leave. So the whole objective is to change the environment in which the community operates. And through virtual vision, some of these connectivity, uh, leveraging some of the connectivity, we can really begin to create jobs and, and keep the jobs here. So when we talk about coming together, that is together, that's really, we, we, we've proven this to be the case. Um, it really is about people, education, and opportunity coming together, together for prosperity. And it really has to happen together. If you think about it, education on its own is great. But unless there's an opportunity coupled with the education, with the education, you can't leverage that for prosperity. We'd like to share. Sorry, to cut you up. They had to shame it up a minute ago. Um, we'd like to share the recent modest success that we had with GoEd and all sorts of other folks with what's happened up in Price with a company known as Health Equity. I know a lot of people here. Sure. Uh, People having to drive through the canyon just to get to work. Everybody is so 